Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Um, Utang is when people uh, borrow, um, you give them credit. I strongly advise not getting involved in it. People are pretty bad at paying. Um, also, as a foreigner, you can afford to lose it, um, which is often the argument. Um, stupid argument, of course, but that's exactly the way they see it, is you can afford it, don't Why are you worrying about it? Um, it's a bit of a bad attitude on it when the, when people um, come to repay, etc., and aren't going to repay. So the best way to do it is quite simply don't give people credit. Um, in our store, we don't give credit. Simple as that. Um, we, we have a loan company, um, which it still functions, still makes money. But at the same time, that's been a, a headache every week, every day since it was formed. Um, purely because people are notoriously bad payers. Um, I was talking to an Indian guy about this because um, he, because we were talking about five six five six lending in the Philippines is where you borrow part of five, you pay six back. Um, in India, the the rates on that are about three to five percent. In the Philippines, it's about twenty. Uh, the reason it's twenty is it's basically the people are terrible payers. Um, it's a bit like payday. Well, it's a payday loan basically. Um, and we were just saying the problem is the Philippines doesn't help itself in that case because it's notoriously bad at paying debts, which means its interest rates are always stupidly high, which in turn makes it um, a bigger debt. You know, because if you can borrow, like say I want a mortgage at the moment, I can get it down at 4.5% for Spain. Um, if they know I'm never going to pay back on time and likely to pay some, they might do it at 25%. Because the fact is, they know that the first payments will actually re end up recovering my debt before I stop, start defaulting. And that's the whole business model, you see. Because the fact is, they know people will pay so much, then it'll start going pear-shaped. And when it goes pear-shaped, what happens? It then takes ages to get the last bits back, but you've already recovered it in the first high interest rate payments that you made. So, yeah, be aware, Utang, don't bother with it. Doesn't matter what it is, it could soap powder or, you know, glass, uh, glass of Coke or whatever, it doesn't matter, just don't get into it. It's not worth the aggro, because um, when you start hassling people once they've upset you because they're, they're, they're not gonna pay it, um, they lose face, you don't like them anymore. Um, and in the West, we say never lend to family. It's the same thing because family don't respect it in the same way, you know, because they'll just have, you know, when you lend to your kids, you know, you're not expecting to see the money again. <laughs> um, it's, it's similar to that. You're not going to get your money back. So be very careful. Um, and quite simply, just don't do it. It's not worth the air grow because you can have fallings out over something where all you have to say is when they want to borrow X, Y, Z, can't afford it, don't have the spare money, whatever, just make an excuse because it soon passes when you won't give it to them. <laughs> Thanks for watching.